We are Ham Radio. Welcome back, everybody. It's Freddie Mac, your Ham Radio Crusader, and we're here to take a stab at Supermon 7.4 on All Star Link 3. I've done this once already. I just hope I can repeat the process. So let's get started. We're here at our All Star Link 3 landing page, and we're going to go to the portal and head for the cockpit. So we'll log in. And of course, we want to make sure we have administrative access and then go straight to the terminal. And the first thing we're going to do is type in sudo space su dash, put ourselves into the root. And we're going to head over to this how to that I found on groups IO. This is the guide that I used last time. So it wants us to change directory to user local sbin. And we're there, and we need to download this file here. This is the install file, if I'm not mistaken. And there it is. Okay. So now we've got a chmod it and make it executable. Hit enter. Boom. We can do a ls-l and see the file is there and it is executable. So the next thing we're going to type is hash. I've got to admit, I don't know what this gets us. But apparently the next thing we need to do is type in this install command. Away we go. All right, a few things it couldn't access because there's no such file or directory. Syslog and messages could not create the directory Apache 2 because it already exists. Hmm. It says next, edit the allmon.ini and global.inc files to match your system settings. They are located here var ht www.html supermon so let's go there and there's an allmon.ini so let's go nano allmon.ini and there's an all nodes there so we're going to change our all nodes to 576332 and that is the only node that we have we don't have any private nodes right now so we're going to go to this one, two, three, four, five, and change it to five, seven, eight. I'm sorry, five, seven, six, three, three, two. Its password is not secret. We're going to have to change that, but I can't re I can't memorize that password. So we're going to have to go back to that. The second node here, we are going to comment out because we do not have a second node. LS nodes, DVSH, these are all shortcuts. Web links, actually. So we're gonna hit Control X, yes to save, enter to exit. Now, we've gotta go to another part to find, we've gotta go to another part of our install to find yeah uh, to find our uh, our secret for for the asterisk manager and it is located well we can just find it here let's go we don't have to do sudo we can go ASL dash menu and then we can go into node settings I believe it is let's go into node settings and let's hit the one that says update asterisk AMI password but we're not going to actually update it we're just going to copy it down so let's just tab out and hit cancel back and exit and yes we want to exit so now let's go back into our Almon file we're going to leave that 
user as admin, but we're going to change the password to, I believe that's correct. We're going to hit control X, yes to save, enter to exit. Now, it also said we can access our global.inc files there as well. So let's take a look. And yes, it is. So let's hit nano global.inc and let's spell it correctly this time. Let's not go to Naboo, let's go to Nano. And these where we make some customizations to the page. Here is where we will put our call sign and then our name. And then a second header title we can just put in five seven six three three two home node we can leave all that there if we wish we're not going to get into this too deep but we do need to change our local zip code and this other customization can come later yeah control x yes to save enter to exit so what do we do now it's got to be something else we can do Okay, we've got to put this cron job. Now this is an important step, and I'll put this link in the description of the video, but once you install Supermon 7.4 Plus or any other products that are web dashboards, you're going to want to run these three commands as sudo so that they can update your all-star database.txt file just FYI. So yeah, we've got to set a password now. We've got to do so. Let's type in let's type in this command HTPASSWD space hyphen small c uppercase b space dot HTPASSWD space admin. Hit enter and it'll ask for a new password. And for the sakes of this tutorial we're going to call it password 2024 P A S S W O R D 2024. Hit enter. And we have put that in there. Now it says go to your Supermon web screen and force a reload refresh by holding the shift key and press F5. Well, I'm on a Mac, so I'm not sure how that works out. So let's just see if it opens. And it does. Okay. Let's log in. Why not? P A S S W O R D 2024. And the login failed. <sighs> I haven't restarted Asterisk. Let's go restart the Asterisk server and see what happens. Here we go. Let's run Asterisk.sh. got asterisk restarted we may have to reboot I like to reboot you know me I love to reboot just seems to fix everything and we are logged in look at this people this is great looks like my CPU up there is getting a little warm <laughs> and we are under excessive heat warning so we are at Supermon 7.4 all-star link so let's see if we can link up to anyone I don't know if our asterisk database has a uh, reset so let's just see who we can connect to node five seven seven eight eight connected to node five seven six three three two and it seems to work And our excessive heat warning is showing. Hot diggity dog right there is really, really cool. Let's disconnect and make sure we can do that. Node 5, 7, 7, 8, 8, disconnected. We'll try the configuration editor. Global.inc opens up. I like that. Let's look at our favorites, see if we can edit that. It says we can. Hmm. Let's see if we can change the first one. 
actually I'd like to leave that in there so let's do this let's just try a whole brand new one so we'll start with label bracket bracket space equals space quote KD5 FMU 70 centimeter repeater 57788 and that's the label okay next line is CMD bracket bracket not those brackets bracket bracket space equals space open quotes RPT CMD let's see the variables for the node I link three five seven seven eight eight and close quotes and let's write our edits return to the index close the window I like to refresh I'm always refreshing let's go to favorites hit select and right there it is connect node five seven seven eight Eight connected to node five seven six three three two. I got so excited about getting the first one working. There's a new ASL version only, updater only. Apparently, I should have done this version. Well, that was fresh install. So after you do the fresh install, I guess you have to do this version. So let's head back to the terminal, shall we? Okay, let's go to user local S bin. And let's clear the screen so we're less confused. And let's get this file down because it's the latest update, apparently. And boom. And we'll mod it. We'll, we'll make it executable. And we'll hash that one as well. Still don't know what that means, but I'm sure somebody will teach me down in the comments. Then we're going to run this, apparently. And the way we go. Oh, we are done. <laughs> I see now that that's the prompt. Later, no need to download the updater script. If you recently installed the fresh install process shown above, you have it. Okay. To run the existing updater, log in putty and run this, which is what we just ran. To run the existing updater script, log into putty as root user and then enter that command. So to make updates even easier in the future you can place the following line blah 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 functions in rpt.com for your node. Now you can enter the command oh I see I see I think I, I think Brad in 8 PC showed me this once so maybe we will go ahead and do this. Okay to make updates easier let's go to the following line in the functions stanza in rpt.com so I know where that's at so let's clear the clear the bell here we'll go to nano etsy asterisk rpt.com and there it is and we're going to go down to functions which is just right down here right there and to make updates easier even easier in the future you can place the following line of function stanza rpt file okay so let's copy this back to our terminal we're now in functions i'll tell you what i'm going to put it closer to the top just so i can find it later in case things get goofy and i may have to take it out i don't think i'm going to ever have to take it out but if i did i just want to know where it's at so let's just put a line in here paste it in control x yes to say enter to exit and instead of doing the whole reload thing i think we're just going to reboot the node uh, let's go. we're already in route so let's just hit reboot and reboot the node shall we Updated local information. Excessive heat warning. 
Okay, our node has rebooted. So we can take off this and put in Supermon. And we're back to our Supermon page. We can log in. Login failed. What did I do wrong this time? Since I updated that, I bet I've got to set the password again. So let's go back to our terminal. We'll go sudo su dash and we'll go to user local sbin supermon type in pa the, the command to change the password for, for username admin P A S S W O R D two zero two four. P A S S W O R D two zero two four. And restart the asterisk server. Okay. Turns out I believe I had to change the password again since I updated it. Just restarting the asterisk server wasn't enough apparently so I rebooted the node. My username and password worked and I'm logged into Supermon and I've connected to a friend's node here. And here's what I'm more stoked about than anything. We are currently under an excessive heat warning and it's showing up on my Supermon page which is just tickles me plumb to death. And now that we did that update, added that SMU or that SM update line into our functions, stands in rpt.conf. After we rebooted, reloaded, yada, 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 we can put in star SM update into the input box and then click on the DTMF button and it will update it. Now, right now it's not going to update anything because we just updated it, but I'm going to kind of point it out to you. Star SM update right here and then hit the DTMF button and then it executes that command that we put in and would update the node if there was or it would update Supermon if there was an update so long story short that's what that means and it looks like it's showing our WAN outside IP address and our wireless local area network in huh, Version 6, IPv6. That's interesting. Web port is 80. At the all-star port is 4571. Bind port and bind port address may be specified. The manager port's 5038. Then the SSHP. Uh-huh. The date, time. Interesting. A lot of the same stuff that's always been there. So we can log out there. And it looks like this when you're logged out. Just wanted to point that out before I uh, ended the video. And we've got Supermon in ASL3. Outstanding. We are connected. So this is Supermon 7.4 Plus All-Star Manager on the ASL version 3 All-Star Link node. Super D Duper. Hey folks, thanks for stopping by and I appreciate y'all giving me a chance to teach you or show you more about All-Star Link version 3. This is Freddie Mac, your ham radio crusader saying 73s, wishing all the good signals to be yours and ham on y'all.